Hey, it's Clay, CPAT My Way, CPATMyWay.com. Today, I'm here to talk to you about another letter from our friends over at Phillips Respironics. This one's revolving around an urgent medical device correction letter and four of the masks that we carry here. So um, I'm gonna dive into basically three parts of this. What's going on and what you need to know about this urgent medical device correction? Uh, what masks are affected? And, um, and what you need to do in regards to finding an alternative if you're affected. Um, and then I'm gonna give you my opinion on what this all really kind of boils down to uh, because maybe it's really a simple issue for you or no issue at all. As always, if you enjoyed the information, found it helpful, hit us with a thumbs up, that really helps us. Subscribe if you want more info. And uh, always remember to comment if you have any questions or concerns. I do my very best to answer anything that I can along the way. So let's dive into the letter first off. I'm gonna throw up some, um, some visuals as I go through it here so that you can kind of maybe read along with me. Additionally, as I go through this, I just want you to be, for the sake, there's so much gonna be linked in here. I'm gonna put one link in the description. It's to a blog, which will have a bunch of other links, including to this letter digitally. So you can go right to Philip's website, read what they're saying about this directly. It's in the very first paragraph of the blog that I have linked below. So if you wanna read through all this information that I've got here, and check out the links that I've got. It's in the blog below, click on it, it'll take you right to our website. So what the problem is and under what circumstances it can occur. The affected masks contain magnets which can potentially affect the functioning and or induce movement, dislocation of medical implants or medical devices that can be impacted by magnetic fields. See the contraindications and warnings in this notice for additional details. Again, I've got that linked in the blog below. So you can read through those, it's a, it's a long list. Um, with the exception of the devices in this contraindication, if mass magnets are placed less than six inches approximately away from a me metallic implant or device, the magnets may cause the device not to perform as intended, which may result in serious injury. There have been 14 reports of patients suggesting that mass magnet magnets have impacted their medical devices, which include pacemaker interference, pacemaker failure leading to replacement, need of shunt adjustment, resetting of automatic implantable cardioverter defibrillator, seizures, defibrillator shutting off periodically, arrhythmia, irregular blood pressure, change in heartbeats, and cognitive issues. I will say that they told me personally on the phone call about this that there have been no deaths associated with this. So. I feel like that's an important thing to throw in there, but some of these things seem pretty serious. The affected products are uh, these four masks you see in front of you that we carry in addition to a um, Therapy Mask 3100. Um, I did find that on a website in India. I don't carry that product. Maybe it's one that hasn't been released to me yet, but um, I'll put a visual up on it just in case by some stretch you've got it. Um, what are the actions you gotta take as a patient here? So. First off, if you've got any of these contraindications or concerns, stop using the affected mask immediately, they say. Um, the patient should consult their physician immediately to determine if another mask can be used for their therapy. In the interim, switch to a non-magnetic mask if available for continued therapy. Uh, again, I'm going to break down each one of these masks and what we might recommend to you as a, as a good alternative that doesn't have magnets. Um, and properly dispose of the mask that has magnets after it's uh, after the new one's been obtained. So, uh, you know, keep those magnets far away. Additionally, they're saying if you, your household member, caregiver, or bed partner who may be in close vicinity to you don't have implanted medical devices or metallic splinters in the eyes, then no action is needed, right? I'm going to say this is probably, I have no idea. I'm just going to stretch at least 90% of users. And I think that's understating it a little bit aren't going to have an issue at all here because they don't have an implant or a metallic device or anything that's going to be affected by these little magnets. I hope that is the case for a majority of people. Um, however, feel free to read through the list that we've got linked below to find out if anything that you have is, is impacted. Um, household members, caregivers, and bed partners with medical implant devices must ensure that the mask gets kept at least six inches away. So it's not just the user. It could be somebody near you, right? So if you're sleeping next to somebody and they've got one of these implants or a medical device that would be affected by this, you gotta be concerned about that as well. 
And then they're recommended finally contact Philips customer service for more information on ma non magnetic mask options. So Philips isn't the only one that makes CPAP masks. So you can look at other options as well, right? Uh, consult your doctor if you've got any concern as to whether or not certain masks will work for you. What is Philips going to do about it? Philips Respironics is updating its existing contraindication and warning as provided in this correction letter. So I'm giving everybody this letter that gets that mask and I believe that they're providing this information now in the new packaging as they're manufacturing um, these masks for further use. They are not stopping manufacturing these masks. They're going to continue using them. They're good masks and we have a ton of success. We've used, I would say, thousands of these over the years and uh, I've never had anybody have an issue personally. I'm sure that that, you know, it can't be, uh, that's not a, a stroke I want to paint so broadly across everything, but I've never heard of an issue. I think that most people with these implants and medical devices that are affected by magnets, they probably already know and have been avoiding magnets for a while because magnets are everywhere. So when you saw a magnet on the mask, you probably thought, nah, I got a pacemaker, this is a bad idea. Um, so hopefully most people have avoided it already. So let's dive into the masks individually and what I might recommend is an alternative or a correction to them. All right, so let's start with the Amara View. This has been one of our favorite masks for a long time because it seals really well. It's got a great silicone seal. It's easy to use, open line of sight, minimal contact, full face. However, it has the magnets, right? So if you're wondering whether or not you have an Amara View, I will tell you it is labeled pretty well in the headgear here, right? So Amara View on the back, you'll see Philips Respironics and um, there's a uh, sizing on the bottom here, but it's it's a pretty obvious mask. It's um, It's got these magnets on the front here, which are very obvious. I'm starting with this one because it's an easy resolution. If you've got this mask and you want to keep on using it, the only thing you have to do is get our nifty old school clips, which do not have magnets. And what you would do is obviously get these clips out. I'm just going to do one side for the sake of showing you shortly here. Take the whole magnet assembly off of the front of the mask because it literally just clips into place. So now you've got the whole magnet connection here, All right? Slip on the old school clip and it clips right into place. You're good to go. No more magnets. Obviously, if you're the person that doesn't need to be around magnets, you should probably have somebody else do that for you. But an easy resolution to this mask if you want to keep on using it. Sticking with the full faces, we'll look at the dream wear full. So again, on the headgear, you notice it says Dreamwear. This is obviously the full face version. Um, it's a gray mask. We like it a lot. You'll see very obviously that it's got magnets. This one's a bit more of an issue, right? Because you can see part of the magnets are actually built in to the cushion itself, which means if you can't use magnets, this is not going to be an option for you going forward. So there is no correcting this mask. You're going to have to make a change. Unfortunately, the competitor to this, the only one that's really a comparable alternative also has magnets. So um, we can't really recommend that for you if you have issues with magnets. The only one I'm gonna recommend is the Evora uh, from Fisher & Paykel. It's another minimal contact full face, but it's not an over the head tube design. So if you're like a stickler on the over the head tube design, this is gonna be a tough transition for you. Um, the Evora is a great mask because it's nice and minimal contact. Um, additionally, you could use the, the Amara View, like I said, with the, with the standard clips. You're probably going to have to order these standard clips separately, though, because they don't typically come with the Amara View. Uh, links to both of those, obviously, in, the, uh, in that blog description. Next up, we're going to look at the nasals. This is the Wisp. Wisp has been around for a very long time. It's another one that has magnets, right? You will... Um, You'll see on the frame of this wisp here, it says very clearly wisp. And you will also see very clearly that it has magnets. Again, the magnets are built into this particular frame. So if you can't use the magnets, this is not gonna be an option for you going forward. Again, this is a pretty unique mask in that it, uh, it doesn't have the, you know, the bridge of the nose uh, with the forehead piece that gives you the four point connection. It's wide open on the front which is a really cool design. <laughs> and again, the competitor to that also has magnets. So there's not really a great alternative as far as sticking with this exact design. Um, there's a lot of uh, cradle masks without magnets, like um, the uh, the Avora Nasal or the, uh, 
the Dreamware uh, nasal, the uh, M30i nasal, those are really good, but they're a pretty significant departure. You could also, but those are in the, uh, the cradle design, right? So they fit under the nose. You may, you may actually like it. If you're gonna stick with a traditional over the nose style like this that surrounds your nose, you're gonna probably have to go to a little bit more old school four point connection like an Eson 2, uh, something of that nature. Uh, but there's good options out there. They're just not gonna be exactly what you're accustomed to on this. The final mask that we carry here is the Dream Wisp. Again, if you look on the headgear, you will see very clearly Dream Wisp. You will also see very clearly that you've got a magnet, okay? This is another really unique mask, even more unique than the actual Wisp because it's really the only traditional nasal that has a head tube connection. So there's some things about it that really are irreplaceable, but I'd say comparable alternatives are gonna be similar to what we discussed with the Wisp. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to switch to something that's a cradle design, or you're gonna have to switch to a more traditional nasal which has the four point head gear like an Eson 2, something of that nature. Uh, so, you know, I, I, I'm not sure that there's gonna be perfect alternatives to this, but if you can't use the magnets, we gotta get something for you. So again, I, I'm gonna say this quite a few times down in the, we have one link in the, in the uh, description, it's to our blog where all of these alternatives will be linked further and, and all the information from Phillips will be linked further. So my opinion on what went down here is that uh, Phillips, must just not have had enough warnings in the bags with the masks. I think most people understand that if they've got a defibrillator or a pacemaker or something that has significant magnetic issues, they probably knew they needed to stay away from magnets. I would imagine that was discussed pretty thoroughly by the surgeon and the doctor that implanted the device. However, you know, when lawyers are involved, you got to dot all the I's and cross all the T's and it looks like they must have missed a T or an I along the way. So they're correcting it now, making sure that people are safe. I think that's a good thing. And um, obviously if it's something that you've overlooked and it's not, um, and you have one of these contraindications, you should stop using it and switch to another mask. Luckily there's tons of other masks out there and I'm sure we can find something that'll work for you. So in conclusion, I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions or further, comment, further commentary on this, just throw it in the comments below. I do my very best to answer everything that I can and to, um, and to research anything that I can if, if need be. Um, if you enjoy the info, hit us with a thumbs up. And um, if you want more info, subscribe. Thanks for watching.